Welcome to this video on Advanced Cloning in PaintShop Pro. The first step to any advanced project in PaintShop Pro is to create a backup of the original photo that you plan to use. During lengthy editing work, it's always a good idea to save frequently, so as to avoid losing your progress in the event of a crash or a power failure. This procedure will take place in PaintShop Pro's Edit section. A few touch-ups that need to be made to the picture quality can be done right away. If the photo was taken in the shade, or the color seems dull, Smart Photo Fix is a quick and easy way to make those minor touch-ups. Smart Photo Fix can be found in the Learning Center under Quick Adjustments. Now it's time to let the cougar out of the cage. Select the Clone tool from the standard toolbar on the left side of your screen. It will be important during this process to become comfortable with zooming in and out frequently. If you have a mouse with a center wheel, rolling forward will zoom in and rolling backwards will zoom out. Zoom into the area you're going to work on and adjust the size of the clone brush so that it appropriately covers the spots you need to remove. Right click on the area you wish to sample from and left click over the spots you want to remove. Pay close attention to the background. In this example it is most important to keep the subtle patterns of the cougar's fur intact. Some of the cloning will require guesswork. If you've seen the subject in real life it may make the process easier. Otherwise you'll have to look for patterns in the image. For example you can see in this image that the eye of the cougar has a dark outline and a light underline. You can use that as a guideline for how to estimate what the covered area looked like. For more subtle changes such as the removal of shadows, reduce the opacity of the clone brush in the interactive properties bar at the top of your screen. By doing this, you can create a smooth and seamless effect. Patience is key. In this kind of project, you will need to be changing the brush size and the opacity frequently to achieve the best result for the specific part of the image you're working on. Foliage is a lot easier to clone because minor inconsistencies can go unnoticed. But beware of patterns. If you simply clone the same leaf in a long line, it will appear to be a perfect string of identical leaves. To remedy this, try to keep changing the sample area for your clone brush every couple of strokes. When the cloning process is complete, use the sharpen brush to touch up any areas that may appear to be smudged or softened. As you can see, using the clone brush effectively can make photos taken at the zoo appear to have been shot on safari or deep in the wilderness. It requires a lot of tenacity to make the result look just right, but it can be a lot of fun as well, and it's sure to impress family and friends. Thank you for watching this video on Advanced Cloning and PaintShop Pro.